Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this 3D bouncing text animation in After Effects. This is very easy to create and you can change the text without having to worry about the animations. All this in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one main. Width and height 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration 10 seconds. Just click on OK. Now we are going to create another composition for our text and rest of the things will remain same. Just click on OK. Let's open up the text com and over here I'm going to select the text tool and we are going to type our text. And for this example, I'm going to type motion. And for this example, I'm using this Boomer Tantrum font, but it's completely up to you. You can use whatever font you want. And after that, let's align this to the center. If you're not able to see the line panel, you can go to Windows and from here you can enable it. Let's move its anchor point in the center. So in order to do that, just select this, hold down the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool. Now we have our text. Let me just quickly press S to scale this up, something like this. So once you're happy with your text, we can go back to the main comp. Now we can drag our text into the main comp and we are ready to give it a 3D look. First, I'm going to create a new solid. So right click new solid and let's just click on OK. And let's place this at the bottom. I'm going to use this color palette, but it's completely up to you. You can use whatever colors you want. If you want to use this, just take a screenshot and you can use these colors. And on this one, let's apply fill. Let's drag it over here and I'm going to choose this orangey kind of color and let's apply fill onto the text as well. And for this one, I'm going to use this one. So after that, we are ready to add some strokes to our text. So let's select this right click and you can go under the layer style and from here enable stroke. Let's go under the stroke option and from here we can change the stroke width and color. First, I'm going to change this to black because we want a black outline and let's increase the stroke width to something like 3.5. Perfect. Now we can select this and I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate this and let's select the bottom one. And on this one, we are going to change the color. So I'm going to pick this green color. And after that, we are going to increase the size so that you can see we have this green outline. And once you're happy with this, we can again select this, press Ctrl D and we can select the bottom one. And I'm going to change this color to black once again. And let's increase the size a little bit so that we have an outline outside the green color as well. Something like this. Now, if you think that this is too dark, then you can play around with the stroke width. And you can just set this to whatever you want. Let's set this to three. Yeah, I think this is looking fine. So here we have our text and now let's add some inner shadows to this. So in order to do that, let's select the top layer and press Ctrl D to duplicate this. And on this one, we can just right click. Let's go to the layer style. And from here, we can add in a shadow. Let's go under the layer styles. And if you want, you can disable the stroke. And let's play around with the inner shadow. First, I'm going to just select this color. And after that, let's make this little bit darker. Something like this. And from here, we are going to change the size to zero. And we can increase the distance. Now I want this shadow to fall from this angle so we can play around with the angle and you can just change it to however you want. For this example, I'm going to set this to something like this. And if you want, you can play around with the opacity to make this lighter just like that. So here you can see we have some inner shadow. Now we can add some grid texture to this. So in order to do that, we can right click and let's create a new solid. Just click on OK and onto this one, let's search for grid and let's drag it onto this. After that, we are going to change this from corner to width slider and let's decrease the border to something like this. And I'm going to just quickly change this color to black. So let's select this and we are going to set this to black. Now we can just place this on top of all the layers and we can select the top one and press Ctrl D to duplicate this. Now we can place this on top of this layer. And after that, let's select the grid and we are going to change its track mat option. And I'm going to just pick whip and set this to the top text layer. So now you can see that now our grid is within our text. 
And in case you are using the older version of After Effects, then your track map might look different. You won't have this pick wave. Instead, you will have a drop down from where you can just simply select the alpha map. Just make sure that this text layer is above the grid. And now we can change its angle. So let's select this, press R and you can just rotate it however you want. For this example, I'm going to just set this to something around here. If you want, you can play around with the grid size to make these bigger or smaller, however you want. But for this one, I'm going to set this to something like 25. Perfect. So now you can see we have our text and we are ready to add some 3D depth to this. So before we proceed, a lot of you watching right now have not subscribed to my channel and I want you to please do that because I want to hit 100k subscriber this year on my channel. So make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon. So let's continue. So in order to do that, I'm going to just select the bottom layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate this. And after that, I'm going to select all of these layers except the bottom two and this color palette and then right click pre-compose and let's move all attribute to the comp and I'm going to just call this top just click on OK. Now we can select this and on this one we are going to apply CC radial fast blur. Let's drag it over here and right away you can see we are getting some 3D results and we can fix this by simply moving the center point. So let's click and just place this somewhere around here. So there you go. Now you can see we have this 3D depth sort of look and you can play around with its position to however you want. But for this one I'm going to just place it somewhere around here. Now we can play around with the color. So for this one, I'm going to just set this to this blue color and make sure to change the color of the stroke as well. So let's set this to blue. So now you can see we have this depth and if you want to control the depth amount, then you can just simply play around with this slider and you can place this however you want. So for this one, I'm going to set this to somewhere around here. And after that, I'm going to select this red click and let's pre compose this and I'm going to call this mid. Make sure move all attribute is set. Just click on OK. And on this one, let's right click layer and I'm going to add stroke and I'm going to make this black. Just play around and try to match the stroke width, but I think these are already matched. So after that, we are ready to add one more depth layer. So let me just quickly go inside this comp and I'm going to copy this and let's go to the main comp and let's paste it. And I'm going to place this at the bottom. And on this one, we can just play around with the amount and let's increase this little bit more. And after that, we can change the color and I'm going to make this orange. So let's go inside the layer style. And from here, let's change the stroke color to orange as well. Something like this. And again, once you are happy with this, we can right click. Let's pre compose this and I'm going to call this bottom. Just click on OK. Now right click, go to layer style and let's add stroke. Again, let's go under the stroke and I'm going to make this black. And once we are done with this, we can play around with the size. Something like this and let's increase the size of this one as well. Perfect. So now here you can see we have our text and we have our strokes. So after this, we are ready to add some shadow. So in order to do that, let's select the bottom one and press Ctrl D. And on this one, we are going to just delete the stroke. And on this one, let's search for drop shadow. Let's drag it onto this. And after that, we can increase the softness. Let's increase the distance and increase the opacity as well. Now you can play around with the angle and I'm going to just place it somewhere around here. So I think this is looking fine. We can lower down the opacity a little bit and just play around with the softness and distance to something that looks good. So I think this one is looking fine. So here you can see we have created the final look of our text. Now we can get rid of this color palette and we are ready to add some 3D bouncing animation to this. So in order to do that, just go to the text comp and in order to make this bounce, we are going to add a couple of the animation properties. So let's open this up, go under the animation and we are going to animate its position and under this let's go to add and we are going to add a selector and i'm going to add the expression one also we are going to add the property for scale and let's add a property for rotation as well now in order to make this animate we are going to use an expression so let's open this up and for this one i'm going to use this expression now i will put this expression in the pin comment or in the description so you can just copy this from that 
and after that you can just go inside the after effects and you can hold on the alt key or option key on mac then click on this amount stopwatch and after that you can just paste this and here you can see we have added our expression but nothing is happening because we have not changed any properties so first we are going to change the position so i want this to move down from bottom so i'm going to place this somewhere around here also for scale i'm going to set this to zero and let's add the angle and i'm going to change this to something like this now if i play back here you can see we have this very nice bouncing text reveal if you want you can play around with the angle and you can just place it however you want for this one let's set this to 25 for now perfect now if you want to play around with the animation you can change these two parameters so frequency if i set this to 5 and now if I play back, here you can see we have a very strong bouncing animation. For this example, I'm going to just set this to something like one or two maybe. And now we can play around with the decay as well. So if I set this to something like 50, you can see that it will make our animation very fast. So I'm going to just set this to something like 10 maybe. And if I play back, here you can see we have this very nice bouncing animation and i think this is looking fine if you want you can play around with these values and once you're happy with this we can go back to the main comp and if i play back here you can see we have added this 3d bouncing animation to our text now if you want you can also add some texture to this middle layer so in order to do that let's go inside the mid comp and over here we are going to create a new solid so go to layer new solid just click on ok and let's search for grid and let's drag it onto this instead of white i'm going to just make this black and instead of corner i'm going to make this width and height slider and width i'm going to set this to something like this and height we can play around and we can just make these closer something like this and after that we are going to search for turbulent displays and let's drag it over here now you can see we are getting some wavy lines and if you want you can play around with the amount and size to make these however you want. We can also play around with the height to have more lines at less something like this. You can also play around with the thickness however you want so I think this is looking fine. And once you are happy with this you can select this text comp and let's duplicate this and I'm going to place this on top of this one something like that and after that let's change the track mat to something like this so now you can see we are able to see our pattern and if you want you can get rid of this line by simply moving this something like that so here you can see we have this pattern on top of our text and if i go back here you can see we are able to see these lines now if these are too thick then you can play around with the border and you can just place it's something like that so here you can see we have added the texture to this layer as well and we are pretty much done with the look now the best thing about this type of animation is that if you want to change the text all you have to do is just go into the text comp and over here you can type whatever you want and if i go back here you can see that the text will be updated and all the animations are already applied so here you can see we have updated our text and you don't have to worry about any animation or texture because all these will be applied automatically so this is how you can create these kind of 3d bouncing text animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one